hello welcome back to another video so in this video we will see how we can get data from an api and show it in select drop down so we you can use normal select uh writing html css or you can use the one from bootstrap so we will be using the one from bootstrap and we will be using this api country state city i'll paste the api link down below so you would have to request an api key here that will take you to the google docs and uh, they have this form so you have to fill up this form where you have to give your name email and a short description of what you are planning to use that apis for so this would be the initial page and that was the next page so you have to submit this form and they will send you the api within one or two days so if we look at the api we can also see that it has got countries it has got states it has got states by countries so if you see they have also written like uh, they have given a syntax uh, of how to use it in javascript we have also got for the axios one so i'll show you how to do it in axios so yeah let's go on ahead and do this we will be using Axios for the API calling. So you can go ahead and install Axios with the command npm install Axios. And you can or cannot use Bootstrap. It depends on you. So if you are going to use Bootstrap, you can use the command npm install Bootstrap. And also in your index.html, you would have to import the CSS. So they would be having the link in their getting started documentation. Do not forget to add it in your index.html so we would go ahead and uh, make a file inside our source folder also you can see that i have created a .env file where i have stored the api key now inside our source folder we will go ahead and make a file so let it be select.js and i'll do rfce and i'll save this one and in our app.js i would be importing that select component and let's save this and see if it is working so i'll go to the react app and yeah it's working fine now let's go ahead and modify our select so i'll be removing this one so first we need to fetch a, uh, like fetch data from our api so we would be fetching countries so i'd be needing countries variable and we would set our countries that we will be getting uh, from our api call using the use state hook so after this we would need to use our use effect hook and inside this we would be calling our api so you can directly call the api or use a function to call the api so i'll give an empty dependency array that means uh, the use effect will just be running once on the initial page load and now let's write our function so that would be fetch data and so we would be calling our api inside this function so i'd be making this function as asynchronous we'd be using async await for our api call now we need to have a variable where we will be storing our response which we would be getting from our api so we would await for the response axios.get and inside this our api would go and then let's first uh, add the api and then i'll show you how to add the headers so we will go on ahead and this api you can see right here so in their documentation you can see they have also given uh, how you can like perform the axios call so we will copy this url this is the API to get uh, a list of countries and go ahead and paste it. 
so we are done after that we i have put a comma and then the curly braces and inside this i'll be writing the headers so inside the headers our api key would go so i would go back to the documentation of how to add the api key so this one would be it i'll copy this and move back to our vs code paste it here and inside the api key i'll just copy it from here so in the real world projects you cannot directly paste the api key in your code that's the reason why you need an environment file but here i'll just paste it to show you how it works so now you have got fetch data okay so when i saved it you can see the error is that we have not imported axios so we got to import axios and now we are getting the response so now let's see what is coming in our response so console.log and we will be logging in our response so let's go ahead and see this is our react app and you can see we are getting the response it's an array of 250 data and inside our response data we can see so let's expand one of the data you can see id iso2 and the name has been given so I want the name in the select drop down. So let's go ahead and try doing that. So we are getting the response and inside the response dot data. So I'll be uh, setting up countries like set countries. So I'll be setting up to res dot data where we will be getting every data. Uh, like the ID ISO2 and also the name and now we will move on ahead to show that in our select statement so I'll be saving this and let's start with our select statement so we will go over to our bootstrap here and we will search for select so you can see we have got this uh, select menu here so this is the default example i'll just copy this i'll copy this whole i'll move over here i'll and i'll paste it over here so now we have got a uh, select let's do some proper indentation and now you can see what we will do is as we have got the data and it is kind of like an array of 250 countries so we will map over those countries in our options so what i'll do is i'll just keep one option and after this one so this one is written that open the select menu so let it be there what i'll do is i'll just remove this one and give it a blank and I'll make this as disabled and the value would be nothing so this one is there now we will be using this option to kind of like uh, get our data show our data I must say so let me do the tab and now inside this what we will do is so countries dot map because inside the countries we have set our data so countries dot map we will be using the map function so index and we will be getting a value and so inside this we would be having our option I'll cut it here I'll paste it so we have got this one so inside the value I would be having the value and let me just remove this one and what we have to show is we might have to show the name so how would we get the name I'll head over to my react app and we will see the response how it is it so 
inside the data we have got an array and they have got like 0 1 2 3 4 so if i go here what will happen is when we would be mapping through it uh, like mapping through uh, all these in the values we would be getting that 0 1 2 3 4 so what i'll do is in here we will show countries where our whole data is coming value that would be 0 1 2 3 and inside the value we are having the name so now the name should be displayed in our option so i'll save this one and we will go ahead and see what is getting uh, kind of like displayed so you can see uh, something like this is coming and if i expand this okay so this is coming okay so i need to get rid of this quotes i do not want anything so i guess i would have to leave it blank and if i save it yeah so it is coming as blank uh, now let me just style it like give a margin top at least so that we can do something margin top of something like 60 pixels let's go ahead and see yeah so this is fair enough and you can see we have got all the countries now showing up in here now what we want is whenever we are selecting a country for example afghanistan here it should display like i'm just doing it for the display thing you might have to uh, send that data over in a form so you can do it that way so i'll show you how you can do that so before doing that let me just write something like select country and i'll save this okay fine so now what we got to do is whatever value we are getting we need to uh, kind of like do so first we need to get the value so i will write uh, on change like whenever we are changing the select so we will be calling a function and inside that function we would be uh, like capturing our selected value so this would be a callback and we would be writing something like handle select function and we would pass the event so we would be passing the event so on change we would be passing that event and now let's write our handle select function now i will write const handle select and inside this arrow function what we will do is first we will see our value so i'll do console.log event so as i have passed the event let me just get the event so event dot target dot value so let's see what it is coming i'll save it we'll go over here let me clear the console and now you can see the select country is coming and suppose i am choosing afghanistan so the value is coming as zero now you can see the value is coming as zero because our option value is just simply value so this we need to change we will be changing it to name so our option value would be this one the name so i'll copy this and i'll paste it over here and if i save it now let's see what the target value is coming so if i am selecting something like angola yeah you can see angola is coming up here so now we want it here as we want it here what we will do is we will take help of our use state hook and we will be needing a variable so i'll go ahead and i'll use a variable selected 
country and I'll do set selected country and I'll be using new state okay now we have got the selected country there now inside our handle select function we are getting the event.target.value we will set our selected country to event dot target dot value I'll save this and how we can see it so down our select statement what I'll do is inside a p tag I'll show my selected country so let me save it and see if it is coming so right now we have got nothing in our console i have cleared the console and now let's go ahead and choose afghanistan so yeah you can see afghanistan is coming right down here so you can style it or you can send it over in the form data howsoever you like so yeah this would be it for getting the data from an api into the drop down thanks for watching this video i'll see you in the next one